Hi everyone, Chris from ChrisLahay.com. Today I wanted to bring you a bit of a WordPress plugin, gallery plugin, uh, that I'm really excited about. I had a client looking for something that would give his galleries on his WordPress-based site a bit more, something uh, a bit more attractive than just your standard grid gallery, um, you know, 150 by 150 thumbs. So I went searching for something that was a bit more responsive, um, something that would create something a bit different, and I found this it's called final tiles grid gallery and as you can see from the screenshots it, it presents some pretty uh, it presents a really nice kind of like a pin style site gallery uh, of your images so I'm gonna go through the process of installing this plugin and give you a quick run through on how it works now this is a free plugin you there is a pro version of it but we're just gonna go through and install uh, the plugin and go through the quick tutorial just to show you what it's capable of so uh, to uh, install it, go to your plugins, add new, and you're going to do a search, final tiles, as you can see I've already done this, final tiles grid gallery, hit enter, it is going to locate it for you, click install now, and it should just take a second, the plugin has already been installed. You just activate it and then we're going to do a test gallery just so I can show you the capabilities. Now once you install it, if you take a look down on the left hand side, you will see final tiles gallery. I'm just going to click that. Uh, you can do add gallery or whatnot, but the first time you do it, um, actually it has already done one for us So because <laughs> I tested this out before sending it over. So we're going to add a gallery. And the name of the gallery will be Test Gallery Description Testing This Plugin. So obviously you can put in whatever you want to once you get used to it. We're going to use choose a source, um, media library, or you can do WooCommerce products, recent posts with featured images if you're using the pro version. Uh, title, we're not going to use captions or anything for this video. You can play with this more when uh, you install it yourself just to see get an idea of what you want to do with your product uh, choose your thumbnail default thumbnail size so uh, I found 150 by 150 too small so we're gonna go with medium and with the free version you can only do galleries up to 20 images you can add unlimited uh, images with the pro version I'm just gonna pop that open so we can take a look at it after uh, so we're gonna add 20 images from the media library I had Cuba on my mind, so I grabbed, uh, just went to Google Images quickly. I'm not going to be publishing these, so uh, to the right holder, rights holders, don't worry about it. Um, and we are going to click the galleries by holding your control button down and selecting all the images that you want included. So we're going to include those images, maximum 20 images, and I think there's like 18. So then we're going to save it. What will happen is it will pop up and give you a gallery ID uh, to insert into your page or your post. So I'm going to add a new page. And we're just going to put the final tiles gallery, save the draft, so you can see what this plugin does. Just waiting for it to save and give me the preview link. So now let's preview the page. As you can see, once this loads up, and my apologies, my internet connection is a bit slow today, it has created a pretty cool grid style gallery for you. Now, when you click on the image, the default is to go to the uh, media file itself, uh, but you can also do a light box by going to your file tiles gallery, and it'll give you a bunch of options to edit your galleries. And so we're going to go to Edit Gallery, and Links and Lightboxes. So currently Links and Lightboxes is going to No Links. We're going to go to a Lightbox, and let's open in a blank page. We will save this, and that should have already saved. We'll refresh the screen. It's bringing it up. Nope, I messed up. What did I do wrong here? Oh, sorry. I think I selected the wrong gallery. 
Press gallery. Nope. Let's try that again. <laughs> Trial and error. My favorite way of working. So no link. We are going to Lightbox. And just want to make sure the images are good. I want 300 by 300. And then we're going to click the Update Gallery. I think that's what I did wrong. So let's do another quick refresh. And we will click the image, and there's your light box. And as you can see, it works very nicely, fades in and out, resizes. So this is a lot better than what a standard gallery would end up looking like. So if let's just show you what that is. A standard gallery in WordPress is quite boring. So we're going to create the gallery. Go from the media library. And click the images that we're going to use. We're going to create the new gallery. And we'll do it, what, four columns? Let's do three columns. And we're going to save the draft. And then we'll preview it. So you can see the real big difference between the two. So that's what a standard gallery would look like. Pretty boring versus that. So I think this is a much better looking gallery. Um, I know the client that I was doing this for really enjoyed the, the look and feel and how easy it was to use. Uh, for the license pretty cheap when it gets right down to it 19 bucks um, and six months support from green tree labs this is over at envato market or code canyon.net so for 19 bucks you can do unlimited and I, i'm still playing with it but i really really do like this this plugin i highly recommend it so far uh, i think it just improves the overall look of galleries so if you have a, a photography portfolio or something like that uh, this will end up making your images that much more attractive. So that's it, again, called Final Tiles Grid Gallery. This is the light version that we're installed and tested here. Uh, hope that you find this video useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or visit chrislahay.com and hit the contact page. Uh, if you need any help with your WordPress stuff, I'm more than happy to help out. Uh, I can get that done for you. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you next time.